to start with the good parts, this movie is really short, it's like under 90 minutes, so in a time where you have movies that are two and a half hours, three and a half hours, it's really nice to have a short film. And that's basically it. The idea of the movie basically is not that bad, it could be interesting, but it's really badly done. Like, for once it's like a found footage kind of movie, but it's all this wannabe old movie things, so they use a, a cheap filter on the film. It looks really bad, like not bad because it's old, bad because it's badly made. Like I have a free video editing program and that thing has better effects than this movie. The next problem is that the characters are all unlikable. and I'm not sure if the actors are bad and that's why they're all unlikable or if they are planned this way. But Basically, you have one character that is a complete idiot and ruins everything, one that is very arrogant and ruins everything, and then you have the military man who you could say isn't a bad actor, but he's kind of blind and lets a lot of bad things happen without really thinking about what's going on. So he's basically guilty by association, but not nice characters. Like, I didn't find any of them likable at all. It is difficult to explain without spoiling, so I'm just gonna say I do not recommend this movie, especially not in the cinema. If you see it on Netflix or something like that and you have it anyway, maybe try it. Like like I said, it's not that long, but it's not really good. Like the idea, as I said, is interesting. There could have been something there, but the way they did it is not really good. So I know Let's talk about why with some spoilers, so if you want to see it, stop watching now. So the basic idea is that the two sisters invent a lot of things. For example, the less inventive one, so the stupid one, basically, who is also naive, invents a camera with a microphone that records pictures and sound in the 1940s, like out of nowhere. Great, there's no explanation, she just does that. And the other one invents a time machine without any explanation. That basically catches radio waves from the future and the explanation is because quantum physics, which is a term that was just used like a year before this movie starts by one of the most important scientists ever, but this 20-something girl in the middle of England just understands it all and builds a time machine without explanation. Like in most movies where you have time machines, there's like years and years of years of knowledge that goes into this, but here she just invented it. So then they watch the future and they use this to win horse races and make money, all good, and they see some music from the future like David Bowie, that was actually pretty nice. And then World War II works out and they use this forecast system to warn people about air raids by the Germans. And of course they save a lot of people and the military is very interesting and tries to find them and they find them and then they force them to work with them. So the narrative that is you read somewhere and you see in the trailer that they wanted to help the country, it's not really true. They are forced into helping because it's helping or jail or worse. So they're not really heroes that want to help, they just got caught and now must help. And this is where the problem starts, because the smarter one, the inventor one of the two sisters, she doesn't want to share her invention and she want to be praised for her invention. Which is strange when you work in intelligence, because the idea of intelligence is that no one knows where it came from. Like in World War II there were a lot of brave men and women who did a lot of difficult work to defeat the Nazis and they never got recognized publicly because it was too dangerous. That is the idea of intelligence work. But here she at the same time doesn't want anyone to know what she's doing but also wants all the praise. Which she doesn't get because it's secret work. But she gets a bit frustrated and then she starts to basically work on her own to prove that she is really good at it. And she starts to making a lot of mistakes because she shuts out the soldier that is like their contact. Also the soldier falls in love with their sister. So he's 
kinda like like I said, guilt by association. He also forgets how to check in on her. And two major events happen. One, she uses a American civilian ship as bait to kill U-boats, and like 2,000 Americans die, and the Americans find that out, and then they quit supporting England, so they become neutral in World War II, which leaves England on their own. And this happens because she basically plans it all on her own, and says, well, it just happened, it's war. The second thing that happens is that the sister who falls in love with the soldier wants to show him David Bowie. So she tunes into the time where they have a broadcast of David Bowie, but it isn't David Bowie anymore. And then she realized that they changed the future. And her sister, who built the thing, said, yeah, of course we changed the future. So she knew this was happening, but didn't tell her sister. And her sister was so naive not to realize that if you mess with the past, you change the future. Basically, they said they erased David Bowie, they erased Stanley Kubrick, they erased Jimi Hendrix. All these people gone or, or not as we know them. Maybe they get like work in a pharmacy or something, but they changed the future. And the one sister was naive enough not to think about it. The other one knew it was happening, but didn't care because she wanted the fame. Nice people. And then the really great event happens because the sister who built the machine wants to prove that she's really, really good and that the thing with the ship was necessary. She forwards an information that the Nazis will invade England at a certain point without consulting the army men again. The army man then comes in and realizes that at the end of this broadcast, which is from the future, from the British, has no military code at the end, which means it isn't from, from the British. Somehow the Nazis figured out what was happening and they sent fake news every day until they caught one. So they basically sent all the soldiers and their fleet to the wrong place and the Nazi invade England. Great job. They get caught by the English, they get sentenced to death by the English. The sister who didn't build the machine escapes. The other sister gets to jail and when the Nazis take over they free her. And they tell her basically that her sister was executed. The sister is hiding in the underground and when she finds out that her sister is still alive she wants to free them. Army man, who is an army man with army training, says bad idea because the Nazis are protecting her because she has this amazing machine you can see into the future. She, a civilian of course, knows everything better, goes there and the guy gets killed, gets shot. Great job. Why listen to the army man in a situation that requires army knowledge? At the end, the man with the stupid mustache comes to visit and they try to kill her like in real life. They try to kill him a lot and the bomb goes off too early and the sister uses her machine to see like an hour into the future or something that her sister is going to be hanged because she tried to kill the big man himself. And she frees him while in the process she gets killed. And the whole idea of the movie is that everything we see is a movie that was found in the home of the sisters because the surviving sisters collects all these movies and broadcasts them non-stop in the hope that her sister in the past will catch it, see it and realize that she should destroy the machine. Which apparently then she does because history plays out as it should and no one ever know where the sisters are. There's just a bad, badly faked picture from VE day where the sisters are in the crowd. So that is basically the idea. So why is this a bad movie? Because the sisters are basically gigantic assholes. Like they build the machine and they use it to get rich. Okay. Then they don't want to help their people. Basically the a bit more normal sister, the naive sister, pressures her genius sister into broadcast or to warn people about bombing raids, but that's all they want to do. Then they get forced to help the military and don't think about what they would change. And then they make a lot of mistakes out of arrogance and out of power hungriness and they want to be seen as really, really amazing and basically lose the war for England and basically hand the victory to the Nazis. 
great job. And then what the movie frames as the heroic action is basically the surviving sister tells herself in the past that they are idiots and they screw up everything so they destroy the machine. But they didn't destroy the machine because they are good people or because they are heroes. They destroy the machine because they got presented video evidence that they are idiots who destroyed everything. So there is no like heroic choice in this you no know, like yay moment. This is basically the old thing. Would what would I do different if I knew ten years ago what I know now? So they didn't choose to protect anyone. They were presented with the evidence that they screw up everything. It's just ridiculous. Like, yeah, it's the whole premise is a bit stupid. Like the two heroes, quote unquote, are not really heroes. They are more like the villains or semi-villains. The villains are the Nazis, of course, but they basically screw up everything. One because she's naive, one because she's very arrogant and there's no consequences for this, for them. But yeah, it is not really a good movie. The acting is not good. The whole found footage from the 1940s is not good because A, it wouldn't work. Like the, the technology didn't exist. So they had to just say, yeah, she invented it and that's it. So no, it, it's there are too many holes in the story for me to enjoy. Like I like movies that are a bit out there, but this is just too far out there. Like doesn't make that much sense. But anyway, if you want to see it, enjoy, but don't say at least I didn't warn you. <laughs>